I have a confession to make, which is that I don't feel like practicing today. <laughs> um, I'm feeling a little tired and a little sick, and I just don't feel like doing it, but I'm going to do it anyway, because that is what dedication is. <laughs> you don't get to be the best by letting yourself just take off time that you don't really have. <laughs> so I am going to forge ahead and I hope you forge ahead with me. <laughs> so day six is all about co-brush, which is nothing new, but hopefully I do it in a way that you can gain some value out of that. Um, I am actually using an actual book today, not the IMSLP version, because it is a little bit hard to read because it's all handwritten. Um, so if you have the actual co-brush book, which most people do, I would suggest using that, but it is online if you don't have it. So I'm going to start with number one, which is the <laughs> beginning of the book, which some might think is really easy, but I try to complicate everything because I want to be the best. So. I use this as ear training and you might think this is easy because it's just a scale but honestly my ears are so rusty and I want to be able to sing everything perfectly so that I am always dead center on my pitch on my instrument because if you can hear it if you can sing it you can play it so that's kind of how I'm gonna start off so I'm gonna test my first note so I think that sounds like Ah, that was my first one. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. We're getting better. We're getting there. Oh, it, it was pretty rough. I'm normally about a half step off, so that was exciting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now that I have it in my ears, I'm going to test myself every couple of notes. I'm going to sing and I'm going to play to just check myself. Mom, da, da, da. Oh, I don't think that I started on the right now. Let's try it again. Mom, da, da, da. I'm still sharp. Got to bring my pitch down. Maybe I'll check myself on the second note. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Da, 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 da. Nope, it is still that third note. not bad okay so now let me see if I can sing more notes and get more in tune stay in tune anyway flat but I was pretty happy with the A so this is kind of what I would do um, to this etude I really just want to get really 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 perfect ears so then the other thing I want to do is make sure that I have a really steady airstream even when singing so let me get my first pitch again I'm going to raspberry tongue hum so if you don't know how to raspberry tongue hum I have a video on that you should go check that out um, basically, I'm letting my tongue vibrate against my lower lip, and what that's going to do is it's going to relax the back of my tongue, uh, keep my throat open, 
and make sure that I have a really steady airstream. Uh, if my tongue stops for any reason, it usually means that my tongue is getting too tense in the back or that I don't have a sufficient airflow. So this is a really, really good test to see how your airstream's doing. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna slur it. getting a little tight around the E. I was running out of breath a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, and you could take a breath in between the C and the D that is written there if you need it. Um, I would like to be a little bit more efficient. I could play a little softer at the beginning because it's piano, um, and that might even out my uh, airspeed a little bit. So let me try it again. Oh, see, now I was trying to play or a raspberry tongue hum softly and it didn't want to vibrate. So that would have happened on the instrument itself. I was using a little bit too much tension in my abdomen to try and get a softer dynamic and that, that's really not what we want. So let me try it again. <laughs> So at the end, I was running out of breath and my raspberry tongue hum stopped. That is a telltale sign. That's what's going on in the instrument. That's why I squeezed down on that E and I didn't like the way that it sounded. So let me try it again. I want to be super open. Oh, it's having a hard time with that softer dynamic. I need more practice. That was so much better. All right, here we go. Okay, not super happy with it, but it was better. So that's what I'm gonna have to work on in my practice room, okay? Then you could also flutter tongue it. That's going to give you the same effect as that raspberry tongue hum. Now I'm going to articulate it. as I was articulating that same exact problems that I was coming up with those extended techniques where I couldn't really uh, raspberry tongue hum that low C at a soft dynamic or that the E by the time that my air was running out was getting tight and my raspberry tongue humming was stopping. I can feel all of those things when I am playing my instrument. It's super micro but it's the difference between being able to play comfortably and not having to think about anything and things being tough. And I want things to be super, super easy. Part of this too might be harder for me today because I didn't sleep as well. So that is something that you might want to think about too when you are practicing is just like straight up, are you taking care of yourself? Are you drinking enough water? Are you going to bed at a decent time? Which <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm on a real rough patch where I just go to bed way too late because I'm doing stupid stuff like watching reality television. Why? Is that important to me? No. It is fun though, so <laughs> I'm not going to give it up entirely, but it is, is it affecting me? Yeah, probably. So that is something that you need to think about too. 
All right, so I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm, I'm gonna do this a little bit faster so that I'm not dying so much at the end. <laughs> okay that went so much better for me i needed to just move the tempo along a little bit but does that mean that i shouldn't practice it super slow no because i want to be able to do everything anything that anybody asks me at any time that's what i want to be able to do <laughs> okay so now i'm going to do another uh I'm, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna do this whole etude for you guys because it, it is a simple etude, but I just want you to pick up some of the practice techniques that I might do. Okay, so now is where I just ended. So Okay, so my ears were working there. And this is soft, so Okay, so I was a little sharp there. Dum, dum. Part of that is my singing voice. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, yeah. So that part of that is the fact that I just can't really sing that low. Dum, dum. Okay, so if you can't sing that low, maybe try singing it up an octave. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, that might be another a tip for you guys. Um, you mostly just want to be able to hear the right pitches. If you can't sing it, um, that's not a big deal, but you want to be able to hear it accurately. Okay, so I'm going to keep it brief, guys, because I'm not feeling great. But check in tomorrow for another practice session. <laughs> Hit like and subscribe. See you next time.